Hey, what's up guys? It's Oakley, and we are playing Total War Warhammer on Skymark Reaches, a multiplayer map that allows one team to spawn up on top of this great big massive hill. So I am delighted to confirm that my ally has posted himself up here as the Empire with tons of cannons and gunners. So that is going to be his game plan. I do want to go ahead and show you the cliff that you can deploy upon. Yes, this is for real. Literally, you can deploy at the top of this cliff. No, that is not my intention. Yes, it's a 2v2, but I'm not going to be 2v'ing on his side with those bullshit tactics. What I decide to do is take an aggressive stance, and that is exactly what I'm doing. Um, we're fighting against an army of Bretonia and Chaos. My army is going to be the Greenskin. So starting from the back, what have I brought to the field? One Doom Diver Catapult, one Goblin Rock Lava. I have two Orc Big Guns and the eight Peak Loonies, so fanatics that won't break. Uh, and then I have two Black Orcs. Next in line, I have two goblins with spears. I have two regular goblin archers. There's the special um, regiment of renown one up there. I have one squig unit. I have a goblin big boss on a spider, and then a war boss on a boar. And up through the front, kind of escorting the rusty heirs, are going to be four of these nasty skulker units pushing forward. And my, oh my, do I enjoy these nasty skulker units. Never really used them too much, but they're. Uh, ability to deploy forwards to be sneaky and obviously the armor penetrating buffs that they have are really good at tearing apart enemy main lines and it's not something you'd expect from these types of troops so I'm making my own mad dash up the hill I was a little concerned that the enemy would be uh, making a move to take this before we could get deployed uh, already that's not a concern for my ally you could see him over there kind of signaling and flagging waving to me <laughs> from over in that position um, but let's see what's facing off against me well the first army that we have deployed kind of directly next to me is going to be this big Bretonia army. He has brought four peasant bowmen, a line of men arms and spearmen at arms, a pretty big host of knights of the realm all shoved up to, well three of them shoved up, uh, the other one just vanilla, and then he has King Luon Leoncoeur on the left flank, and then a damsel on a barded warhorse here looking cool. Chaos is off in the distance, and it has chosen a really small force, but it's an entirely 100% chosen force. Well, actually, I take that back. It does have a couple uh, Chaos Knights and Marauders, and then also a Chaos Warhound force, but still a force to be reckoned with surely Archon the Ever Chosen. So let's see who this opponent is going to be. I'm going to try and take the hill. Most of my forces are hidden. As you can see, my opponent has no idea what's coming at him. The only real force that he's going to start to see is going to be my War Boss. And I did this kind of intentionally at this point. I charged him forward. I know that he's got a lot of. Uh, peasant bowmen and so they're gonna want to shoot at the first target they see and I always kind of like to use heroes to do this so I'm gonna just dive into range of his bowmen and start to pull out you can see he stops to try and fire we can chase we can watch those volleys and yeah a couple of them end up hitting doing a little bit of damage but for the most part just uh, causing him to delay and pull back and really miss his first crucial volley I return the favor in kind with a much better attack. All the rest of my army deploys. He's still kind of firing in the blind, not quite sure what he sees, but then all of a sudden, kind of jumping out of the forest, I have my squigs bowling forward against these soft targets. So this is gonna be an awesome, awesome move here. So I'm gonna to continue to just bowl through and tear these guys apart. Enemy halberds are frantically gonna come back in to try and save this force, but it is gonna be for not yeah, so I pull out of there having done a fair amount of damage and bombard any reinforcements. So that was pretty cool. Did, you know, a fair amount of damage. Almost an entire unit's worth spread out across three units. So pretty good. And then my archers on the top of the hill here have been able to come in unmolested and start to fire at this damsel and the retreating forces. Had I taken this head-on archer versus archer, I definitely would have lost. But look at the furious amount of fire I'm pouring in at this damsel. She's already at half strength. Comment of Cassandora trying to knock my guys, but I was quick and pulled back. Meanwhile, the rest of my skulkers, while doing what they do best, skulking in the forest. All the rest of my army starts to pull off, so I'm just kind of holding here. And I'm going to start firing away at the main line. I'm using my hero to kind of tie up and break apart this enemy spear line force. I know my nasty skulkers are not going to do super well against a formed unit of spears, so I'm going to start to whittle it away, one with archers, one with my lord, and then pull out of there just to hold them in place. Looks like buffs 
are trying to get off here uh, with this damsel who's coming into play. She's going to try and pop another ability. I believe I'm trying to micro elsewhere, but the lightning does strike. Kills a fair amount of my guys, but not too many. The enemy is now coming around both flanks. Chaos Marauders coming in and Knights of the Realm zooming around the background. But this is precisely why I like to bring artillery as the greenskins, because you can ward off cavalry moves around the flank. Plus I have tons of fire. Up on the top I have a bunch of my spearmen, so this is going to be enough to ward the enemy off. Really cool to see this fortified position that I've made for myself up here. Enemies trying to get after my archers knowing that I have a nice uh, position, but boom I'm able to intercept with my goblins. I did bring back my goblin big boss on the spider to try and intercept this cavalry if I can, and I'm falling back to protect my uh, artillery units in the back that are continuing to fire. They're desperately trying to go after them with this uh, Chaos Warhound unit, but my Black Orcs are, are big guns, and Black Orcs are going to definitely see that off. Yep, and they're forced away, forced to go the long way around to get to my artillery. In the meanwhile, while they do that, I'm pulling in reinforcements and continuing to focus fire on these chariots. Or sorry, not chariots, marauders. Yeah, they do get in at my goblin archers, but this is not my best unit. And now he's stuck in with my hero and my goblins. Uh, so that's pretty good for me. Over on the top, my archers are starting to take some punishing fire. You can see one of them here did get kind of mauled by a lot of incoming fire. But most of my units are still healthy. My war boss here is basically present to try and ward the enemy away. All of those... Um, yeah, longbows targeting my own goblin archers, which is fine. I'm just biding for time. But the main threat that I see here is King Luan Leon Coeur. He can force his way through here. A lot of them targeting my hero as well. I don't quite know how they ride these boars. So my guy definitely can't stand up to this, but it, that's, a, that's okay. I'm just here to fight a delaying action, so I'm going to pull out and try and pull him into the mix of nasty skulkers who can take him out. M the main meat of my army, of course, is back here, getting ready to fight against Bretonia. My ally in the distance is still not budging, still holding strong. I've shattered this force and I'm going to reprioritize my targets. And here comes the trap of the nasty skulkers. Just as he thought he could get after my lord, I'm going to swarm him and start shanking the shit out of King Luo. And yeah, with concentrated fire plus this hero, he's going to start to do a lot of damage to my nasty skulkers. But it did save my lord in the meantime. And now I'm seeing these guys off. I'm going to catch this chaos knight. Uh, with lances and take a look at what's going over there constant bombardment of the enemy knights I do take a big slap right in the face from these knights but I was braced and ready with big guns I believe they have um, bonuses versus charging units not quite sure but anyways that was pretty good able to kinda hold that back and then I have reinforcements coming in a double whammy gonna be coming through the front but not really the most effective of charges my Black Orcs here are going to attempt to hold strong. I'm going to try and brace them against this charge. Let's see how this goes in. Yep, doing almost nothing. Looks like he tried to give it separate movement command. He's really keen on pulling through and trying to get after my artillery, which is not the best of ideas because it means my guys are going to tear his up. Look at this Knight of the Realm already at half strength. Yeah. So I'm going to defeat this. I'm bringing back my Orc War Boss to, to kill this. So we're going to get a really nice cleanup on all these Bretonian Knights of the Realm. Super easy. And I'm going to pop, pop the Wog, 58 melee attack, plus stand your ground for melee defense. So I'm hoping to just clean this up easily. My main line at the top was forced to pull back from the fire of Luon. Uh, I did have the support of my Goblin Big Boss, and so I did retreat. Pulled back some Black Orcs to ward the enemy away. And I'm kind of forming back a perimeter. A huge swath of my nasty skulkers are running away. They took a lot of damage up top, but now they're going to have a little bit more solid ground to find themselves, you know, a little bit of courage, and now they're going to be able to reform. Here I have a lot of archers going to start targeting the enemy mainline, plus one of my artillery units. Both of them are still alive, so that enemy counter cavalry attack is absolutely slaughtered over here. So I defeated that, and now my artillery can retrain itself on the top. Punch through the enemy line. King Luan is going to try and get at my archers. And I'm going to try and block this with my spears. And oh, I'm barely catching him. Focusing fire from my enemy on my units here. But that's fine. I don't really care. If I get two spears against enemy hero, yeah, that is really cost effective. Some of his halberds are going to try and commit to this fight. But that's fine. I have tons of archer support now pushing around the side. Nasty Skulker is also going there. And then I have my... Uh, goblin big boss on the spider here to tie up the rest of the peasant bowmen not allow them to fire into this blob that's forming up 
So they did break my uh, my spearmen here, which is fine if they're retreating. I mean, they're only meant to hold the enemy lord, pin him in place. And now I'm kind of forming up, waiting for the enemy to run into me. Yeah, here we come. Cleaning up the mess that remains of these forces. King Luan is still at full health here, but really wondering what the hell is going on to his men. I'm absolutely routing this force, hammer and anvils for my orc war boss. Now he's going to be beat. Now he's going to be trying to see off these forces. He did just that, and he's going to try and pick a fight with Luan, who is right now being swarmed by tons of big guns and nasty skulkers. So not much left of the enemy line. Nasty skulker is coming back to reclaim this top position to clean up the remainder of these forces. So this is going to be pretty awesome. Armor penetration doesn't mean much against archers wearing cloth, but hell, they'll take the fight anyways and mop the floor with them. So really good moves there. Bretonia is kind of trying to reform as chaos now rolls around. I have decided to focus fire my artillery, or at least I was trying to for a moment before uh, some knights of the realm came back to attack me. They did take out my artillery crew unfortunately. So I'm going to see them off. Caught this other force here. The enemy just boom popped a comet of Cassandora. At least the damsel did. She's getting some shots off and then here trying to do more damage. Another ability being popped over in this position. However the vortex seems to miss. Yeah, my opponent is getting really pissed at how much damage I'm doing to him. But King Luan here is going to route. Oh my god, the kit. Jeez. I barely got out of there. So that damsel is trying to do a lot of damage to me. But my black orcs holding strong, getting tons of kills against this force. Seeing them off. Even my nasty skulkers in the face of Archon. Yeah, he's trying to swat away at my guys. But the nasty skulkers are too quick. They're going to be able to finish off the rest of that Bretonian army. See them off. And now I'm trying to reform with my guys. Take account of what I have. Looks like my Doomdiver Catapult did uh, return to the fight, so I'm going to be pulling them back. And so now I'm repositioning. I killed one army. I still have enough numbers to deal with the second army. But this is a pretty hard and strong force of all chosen, pretty much. Meanwhile, take a look at my ally. Still just chilling in the background. I think he's just watching this battle unfold, which is really funny. And I realize, holy shit, I can't deal with this. A chosen blob? Yeah, there's no way. So I'm trying to kill Luol. And I'm not quite successful. Uh, but what I know I have to do is now kite. Rely on my archers and just fire, fire, fire. I'm cleaning up the rear, but now what I have to do is just pull out with what remains of my force. Lots of spells going to be cast against me. But I have to retreat. If I face this, I'm going to get killed. And I know I outnumber the enemy and out outrange them, so it's time for some good old glorious kiting. My opponent thinks I'm in full retreat, which I kind of am. Um, but I do have a trick up my sleeve, and that is going to be this force desperately told to get back aboard and launch their bodies at this big blob going on here. I'm continuing to pull out. I haven't had anything really caught up in the enemy force. He's trying to zone me out a little bit. Some of my guys starting to rout. But you can see his guys are starting to get split up a little bit. Cascading Fire Cloak being popped on these guys. So a lot of abilities actually being wasted. The countdown on that is going to run out as I continue to pull out and refuse an engagement. My force is here coming back, almost killing King Luan Leon Kiel. In the back, Archer is starting to rally in a damsel. I might Goblin Warbass to deal, deal with that. But on this front, the enemy has given up the pursuit, which is exactly what I wanted. Look at this. He knew he couldn't catch me, and so now he's going to turn about and reform, which is perfect for me because, one, he left King Luan Leon Kiel by himself for me to just pulverized with my black orcs and then two he's giving me time to just bombard him with artillery and so yep this is freaking awesome and now my fanatics are going to turn around all my other forces my goblins who were just retreating one second ago are going around and taunt the enemy as if they were the ones who were pussies there's another chaos warhound trying to go after my artillery I'm going to come in with my black orcs and protect my little babies. And we'll see just how close they get. Ooh, a couple of them may be getting one of my crew there. He chopped off his head. He's going after another one. But even one of the crew members there killed one of them. The black orcs dealing with the rest. And looks like this guy is ready to be launched. He doesn't so much care about the wolf behind him. He just wants to be sent into battle. And it looks like he's going to have the chance to do just that. The enemy's charging in. I do pop a fanatic ability right through there so it did do a little bit of damage and disruption now I'm trying to pour in with my fanatics to hold the line and spears throwing in my cheap units to the front allowing my skulkers and other units to get around the back black orcs also being committed 
And meanwhile, I'm bringing back in my archers and other big guns. Basically, everything is going to be brought back into the fight. And this is the entirety of the Chaos Force here. I'm also going to continue to try and fire away point blank. Here I have some abilities popped. Wah! And stand your ground. Ooh, and some shots straight into this Chaos Blob is going to be exactly what I need. Yep. Nasty Skulkers in the back. Some of my weaker troops are starting to route, but now we're going to be stuck in with the healthy Black Orc unit. Oh my god, the line of sight that I have on this force is amazing. And take a look at what I'm doing. The Rusty Air is here going to be targeting Arc of the Ever Chosen, who usually is a complete badass, but I have spears sicked against him. Plus a bunch of arrows in there that have the added ability of taking away health. And now what I'm going to start to do is just hammer an anvil in here with my lord. I know I can't set on up to him 1v1, even if he has, you know, just half strength. And so I'm just going to come in and pick at him every once in a while. Wait for all my arrows to be expended and fill him full of arrows. Boom, hit him again. He's dropped a little bit further, and now it's down to a fight of basically a bunch of chaos against a Black Orc unit trying to hold its own. That's not going to go too well. We'll see. My artillery is out of ammo, so I've got nothing left to do there. I have come in here and circled around, and so I have a bunch of units gangbanging this Chaos Sorcerer with the Lore of Death, so that's going to be a nice little morale pickup for me. He does kill my Black Orcs down through the center, so I'm pulling away with my War Boss. Continuing to fire away at Archon, and now the fight is going to commence around this cluster of units. I'm going to circle back around with my Lord. And my Skulkers are going to be tasked with dealing with Archon, the Everchosen. My Archer unit here out of ammo. But that's fine. They're going to just decide to ca uh, chase off the Chaos Chosen. My Lord is going to continue to stay alive. Pop Wa And stand your ground. So buffing all of my units. And then I'm going to come in here and try and fight Archon, the Everchosen. Plus my Skulkers. So this is actually going really well here at the end. He has almost no health, and my, <laughs> somehow, the Rusty Air is still holding strong. The eight peak loonies are never going to break. Seven men left, and the big gun's still alive, and Archon, the Everchosen, here starts to rout. Boom. And the entire enemy force shattered. So you just take, saw me take on two entire armies and come out with units remaining. Finally, my ally comes to the, the not even so much to the rescue, he comes to the after party. Entirely full strength units. Look at these guys. Not even committing to the fight. I think maybe towards the end he may have had something to do with a little bit of the engagement. That was, you saw earlier, the Bretonian units and the damsel and some straggling uh, longbowmen in the back that my goblin big boss was fighting. I think my ally may have been... I mean, I see a couple dead bodies here, but again, that was my artillery. So, okay, we'll give, we'll give my ally, you know, 20 kills that we can see on the screen here. But <laughs> the entirety of that fight was me 2v running uh, against the enemy and coming out the victor. So this has got to be one of the most epic fights I've ever had. That was really, really fun. I loved how my composition played out. A large part of it was just the kiting that I did. And I do have to give a big... Uh, round of applause to those nasty skulkers proving their worth super cheap great at armor penetration if they, you can use them to strike the enemy once they're weakened or otherwise engaged uh, as I did here and yeah that was absolutely phenomenal expended all my ammo on my error boys or not my error boys sorry the rusty arrows that means very effective on them artillery was basically out of ammo I mean I used it all up on my doom diver so that's a lot of kills let's go ahead and try and quantify this and taking a look at some of the final stats here, holy crap, yeah, I brought 1478, so both my enemies brought relatively small armies, but still means that they were pretty strong themselves. My ally here, zero losses, he literally did not commit to that battle. Myself here, got most of the, I think 100% of the, qu the kills there. That is insane, two versus one, that's absurd. Yeah, look at this, Nasty Skulkers, 119, 23, 47, 36. Really good stuff against pretty strong units. I mean, against Halberds and some of the Chosen. That's incredible. Big guns holding the line. Black Orcs were slaying these Knights of the Realm. My artillery doing a lot of work. And particularly the air, um, the 
goblin er why do I keep saying errors? The goblin archers and Darusti errors. These guys were critical. They sniped the damsel, brought King Luan Leonko dangerously low on health, and they helped put the finishing touches on that chaos force. Fortunately, I can't click on the enemy armies and see their stats. Seems that bug is still there, but man, oh man, what a battle. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Stay tuned for more, and yeah, that was awesome. Try your own 2v1s. They're fun every once in a while. <laughs> see you in the next one. Peace out.